What's up guys, welcome back again. This is a OnePlus 5 update video and we got the new firmware update 4.5.7 for the OnePlus 5. So this build brings a couple of new things, fixes, changes and one of the very good thing I will say that this is the EIS improvement for the 4K and I'm going to show you guys a couple of comparison here with the OnePlus 3 right here and OnePlus 3T and also I'll show you some comparison difference between the earlier one like the first time when I unboxed the phone I've shown you a detailed comparison EIS test between 1080p 30fps 60fps in the 4K so along with that we are going to see some benchmarking comparison with the older version here and some bug fixes that are happened and things that I did notice too so guys let's get started and see what are those changes so this is your about phone section the toxinous version here is a 4.5.7 and the new thing here is that you can see that the security patch level of the first July so which is very important so this is your change log so as you can see the first thing is that introducing all new oneplus late phones so this is uh, not something very important everybody is going to use it the one that i'm going to talk about more here is the added eis for the 4k video recording so stay tuned a couple of minutes i'm going to show you here and updates that first July security patch level and updated to the latest gms package in case you don't know gms stands for google mobile services package that means all the stock android applications for example uh, whatever it comes with the google nexus pixels phones the stock applications this uh, uh, drive google drive photos play store chrome and whatever google creates and update them so they are now synced with the google pixel phone so this is another great thing and i, I must say that this is the first time i am seeing this change log you know i've made a tons of videos about this one plus 3 3 and 3 oxygen update this is the first time i have seen that this one plus has you know highlighted this feature might be something new here all right so this optimization wi-fi connectivity improvements and uh, standby battery enhanced now my device is giving great backup so i don't have any issues so wi-fi is okay I, I didn't notice anything else so this is the bug fixes now it's fix occasional sound list in the speakers when using earphones so i did not notice such thing here but let's move ahead so fix camera shutter sound bug in the silent mode for the engine let me show you guys what is that problem first and see whether so we're still able to see the sound as you can see so you can see still i am getting the sound so this is still a bug so we'll see that thing whether it is fixed or not and this one here i did notice that fixing missing sound channels when recording videos so uh, why i can say that because you know i film all the videos with my smartphones mostly with nowadays with oneplus 5 and the galaxy sa so one or two times i did face that i filmed a 4k video of eight to nine minutes when i was about to edit that i noticed that initial one or two minute iphone recording was it after that it was completely slate line that means completely black and gone so i have to test that thing probably i'll film some couple of videos tomorrow and now guys this thing we have to verify uh, fix camera shutter bug in silent mode or not so right now you can see uh, i am here on the silent mode i guess so first uh, what is that problem uh, you see there is a default camera when you try to uh, take some photos and if you go inside the setting you have the option of uh, uh, where is that this one here shutter sound you can minimize that you can see there was no sound when you turn that on you're getting sound right so I've shown you that the bug there was sound coming earlier when you were in the silent mode now let's change the profile back to the silent mode and see whether we are going to get something is uh, after you apply skin kind of issues were there so i hope this one here is still on so shutter sound is on let's see you can see there is no sound coming even the shutter sound is turned on so that was the bug it was kind of pretty very annoying but anyway this thing is got fixed so uh, we have got this most of the things got fixed and i have to test this feature you know missing sounds all the stuff and this one i did not found that maybe a couple of users have got that so guys this is about the change log now let's talk about further this improvement here i'm going to show you guys what is this one plus slate font so when you go inside the setting and just try to search for a font section you can see there is a new font called as a one plus slate so it's going to change the thing there but i like the default one whatever is there now in a quick summary how to stall it in case you did not got the update yet so you have to use an application called as a opera vpn so make sure you install and connect to the opera vpn and by default you connect to canada you have to make sure you switch to the germany region once you switch to the correct region just go and check for update you should see some new update and once you got the update uh, make sure to disconnect the vpn first before you go and try to upgrade because sometimes it does happen i found that it got failed it's not any hard and fast rule i just fell sometimes so it's very good you should disconnect first then try to update it 
Now, how about the numbers in terms of Geek and N22? So this one here is a Geek benchmark as well, and this one here is a N22. So this, since this is a gigabyte RAM model, so definitely you're going to get much higher score. Now, comparing these numbers with the old one here, so I got a couple of a score. I don't have quoted five at four. Sorry about that. If you have that, please share me. So as you can see, this is a gigabyte RAM model. So definitely performance is sort of consistent. If I just ran it again, so I may get some to near to 179k. This is about the N22. Now this is the uh, Geek benchmark score. So multi-core is always near to you know 6.5k and higher you can see now this time is the highest i have seen till now and the single code score is just constant i never crossed the 2k score but anyway guys the benchmarking score are always good now guys uh, it's time to check out and see some of the eis and uh, comparison with the 3 and 3ts right here you are seeing in front of you this is the old result that i uh, filmed learn back when i got the first time it was 5 so this is 4.5 on 3 and 3t and the first from where 4.5.0 so this is 1080p 30 fps clip so earlier on the 1080p 30 fps all device you know works in the same way since uh, oneplus 5 doesn't have the uh, physical OIS so still uh, on 30 fps it is great i didn't see any much difference and also guys keeps on noticing this you know dynamic range and all the stuff now this one here uh, is with the new latest firmware so you can see there's improvement on the camera quality too the uh, you can see the clouds color right now you can see the images on the oneplus 5 looks to me much cooler now which earlier uh, was kind of warmer and you can see how much is the dynamic range changes suddenly you know in the same cloud here now you can see the oneplus 5 this is still on the cooler side but it's great so yeah, on 30 fps 1080p uh, stabilization is great as always now it's time to check out the c4 1080p 60 fps so you can see uh, this is the old clip that i filmed a long back here the same on the earlier 4.5.0 firmware so oneplus 3t looks to be more stable compared to the oneplus 5 you can see it's a, a hell lot of shakiness here on the oneplus 5 the post processing even doesn't work at all on 60 fps and this time you can see all three photos looks to me exactly same there is no difference in terms of video quality so that, that's why i was saying there is not a much difference in terms of camera so this is the uh, old 1080p 60 fps now this is the new 1080p 60 fps you can see the photos are much brighter now and stabilization is still uh, doesn't you know uh, looks like much improved on 1080p 60 fps so the company has said for the 4k we are going to verify on the 4k but on the 1080p 60 fps in case you're filming a video so try not to film your videos on 1080p 60 fps instead prefer 4k if it is smooth as you can see the clouds are much cooler here on the oneplus 5 so that's how you can decide which photos you like so this one here now uh, is the 4k 30 fps on the earlier when i filmed long back that means uh, two months before when i got the first time device so i will say that oneplus 3t picture looks much clearer even though stabilization is much smoother on the 3t it's still shaky but comparing to oneplus 5 and 3t earlier i was talking about not today so uh, it still it looks great but the photos qualities i don't think so any difference is there so uh, it still looks great guys let's see how about the eis this time on the 4k whether it's going to fix or not so here is the golden moment of the truth you can see now you can take a look on the oneplus 5 how smoother it is i was you know guys shocked when i first time saw this here it was so stabilized video you can see even i took my pixel on side by side i didn't show you here i will show you guys a new test later maybe by tomorrow comparing my galaxies and the pixel together so it's definitely much much improved there is no shake at all but i don't know why company hasn't done any change for the 1080p 60 fps so still guys 4k is definitely much stabilized in oneplus 5 let's update now so guys there you have it this is your oneplus 5 update overall i'm very happy with this update at least the 4k is much stabilized now but i was really hoping you know 1080p 60fps to get fixed so maybe in the future we'll get that update but still i feel most of the videos in the 4k i never switch to 1080p 60fps so i hope you guys did enjoy this video thank you so much for watching this is sort of i'll talk to you very soon have a great day